What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we are going to be talking not about a notebook, about a notebook cover. So I bought this journal. Uh, this is Galen Leather's uh, Cosmo Light Air Notebook. It's A5 size. Uh, I bought this from Galen Leather with my own money. Uh, and they offered to send me a couple things for free for the purpose of review. So I did not pay for this cover, but I am not being paid for said cover. Uh, so I said, sure, let's go ahead and do that. So this notebook that's in here, uh, yes, it happens to be theirs, uh, but it will fit pretty much any A5 size notebook, uh, unless it's one of the like Hippo Noto ones that are like this big, uh, because then it's just not wide enough. Um, so just going forward. Um, so this, as I choke on my own spit, is um, one of their crazy horse leather finishes, which just means that it's going to mark up and uh, patina with time. It is genuine leather, so vegans, not for you. Um, it has a little bit of the leather smell now, but I've had this uh, for a little over a month. Um, so it's lost most of that scent, uh, which I'm okay with uh, because I don't like it when it gets on my hands. Um, but there's not a whole lot to the visual aspect. Uh, it's pretty much just solid brown. It has actually gotten darker uh, within the last month that I've uh, been using it, um, which I quite enjoy. Uh, so the whole front is pretty much nothing but blank leather. Uh, and being that crazy horse, it's going to take up scratches and finishes and all that kind of good stuff. Like really awesome. In the back of it, it's the exact same as the front. The only difference is it does have their Galen leather stamp on it. Uh, and it does come with a pen loop. And this is the first pen loop really that I actually like uh, on any notebook because only the front of it has like leather on it. The back is stretchy material, like elastic. So it actually fits a pretty decent amount of uh, pens. I'm going to remove this pen now just so that I can kind of have access to it a little bit easier. Uh, but you can see here it's pretty big and it does have that elastic on it right here. Um, so you can really expand and contract. Uh, when you open up the front page, uh, you do have a little slot here for a card or something if you want. I personally don't care about that, uh, but it is there. And then on the back, you have the same thing. Uh, you have that slot and then the loop itself. Um, fits around the notebook really well. It does have a very audible sound, <laughs> uh, mostly on the spine, because um, it is quite close to the spine. It does add some bulk to your notebook for sure, um, being that it is an accessory to it, uh, but it's not excessive bulk. Uh, and I like the fact that it has this little extra material at the end here, so that when you do have your pen, which I just dropped, when you do have your pen in the loop, um, it fits in really nicely and there's that room for it. Some notebooks don't have that. Um, some notebooks stay flush to the end and then your pen sticks out and I don't like that at all. Um, so I think that's a really neat eye for detail uh, on Galen Mother's behalf. Uh, like everything I've ever used from them, the quality of this is outstanding. It does come with a price tag, which I will put down here for that quality, um, but I can see this lasting my entire life. Uh, it is not going anywhere. Um, to put it on the notebook, you basically take the front cover of the notebook and you stuff it into the sleeves in the front and you do the same in the back and that's what holds on to it. It was a pain in the tatas to get it in there. Um, so you see here, this is the, the leather case. This is the actual notebook. Uh, and it just kind of slides in. I'm going to try and take it out for you guys, which appears to be just as difficult as getting it back in there, which I'm not looking forward to taking this out. <laughs> um, so I, I do recommend that if you 
choose to put a notebook in it, uh, then basically leave it there until you're done with the notebook uh, because it's it's difficult. It's held on there very, very tightly and it is not going anywhere, which is good because you don't want it to, but it takes some effort to get it in there. So this is the just plain notebook, nothing on it. And then this is the leather wrap that goes over top. Um, and you can see that it's starting to like mold specifically to this notebook, uh, which I really like. Um, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you some close-ups. All right, so I've turned a pretty harsh light on uh, so that it specifically picks up all of the uh, imperfections that are beautiful, <laughs> um, but it does wash the color out a little bit. So on camera, uh, it loses a little bit of the um, deep red tone um, that this notebook actually does have, but there are plenty of different finishes that you can choose from. Um, so if you don't want a typical uh, brown finish, then you definitely don't have to get that. Um, so do check that out. But the stitching is impeccable uh, all along the notebook itself. The, like I said, the imperfections, all the little scratches, uh, I, I adore. Um, I really like that a lot about leather. Um, because you can't really get that on very many things at all. Um, but I mean, you can see here, I'll go up here where it's a little bit darker. Anytime you put pressure on a side, it changes the life of the leather. And you can get like leather bomb and buff this all out if you don't want to see that. Um, but I love it. And I think that's really the point of getting leather personally, um, but to each their own. So you can see that the spine is a little bit lighter uh, because it's constantly folded uh, and or unfolded and then I'm putting pressure on it as I write. Um, and yeah, it's just like, it's so beautiful. I could stare at it forever. Um, but like I said, the stitching is impeccable. The quality, it's very thick. Um, it feels very nice in my hand. Uh, their stamp is very, very nice. Um, I like the fact that it's not embossed, like there's nothing inside this stamp uh, to try and make it stand out. Um, I like that a lot. On the inside, when you get the raw underside of the leather, uh, you don't see any of this because of course the notebook is in the way. Um, so if you don't like this, uh, then no big deal uh, because you don't see it. You just see uh, this section here. Um, so this guy, like I was saying, can fit some pretty wide pens. Um, so this is like a Noodler's triple tail. That fits in around the like lip of the um, cap. You do have to push a little bit um, just to get it over that, that hump, um, but it fits in there nicely, uh, which is much thicker, of course, than a Quebeco Sport uh, because of that elastic on the band. This is the best thing, honestly, that I've ever seen um, on one of these notebooks. Typically, I hate it when these are included because you can't fit half of your pens. Um, so I can pull out a Visconti Homo Sapiens. That fits, same thing. You do have to have some effort around the um, cap here just to expand. Oh yeah, and then I have to pull up the, <laughs> the clip. It's, it's difficult to do that without showing you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna stop it here and you'll see it expands around that, but it, it fits no problem. I don't have a Jinhao uh, 159 or a Mont Blanc 149 or anything like that. So I don't know if it'll fit oversized pens. Um, I don't own any oversized pens. No, I don't. I mean, I think the, the bulkiest pen that I have is like this Benu lid, um, which might be a bit of a struggle to get it over the hump. <laughs> and it makes it. Oh yeah. It's definitely tight. Uh, I do feel way more resistance uh, to get it on and I don't think it's liking it very much. So it may not go over that. 
um, but this is like a chunky beefy pen <laughs> so it probably then won't fit like a Mont Blanc 149 but I feel like if you've got a pen like that you probably wouldn't just have it maybe chilling on the side of a notebook but who knows um, that could just be my bias um, and then yeah the, so your actual notebook just sits inside uh, and then what you can do is you take the front cover and you just kind of slip it in like I said it is a very very tight fit uh, so it does take some effort for sure. So the question that you are all going to want to know is do I think that this is worth it? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, there is a uh, version of this that Life makes uh, that is very, very similar and I've done a review of it. It's pretty old um, and it does have branding on the front of the page, but it does have nice scroll work um, that's very, very similar that is not leather. Uh, in case uh, there are any vegans um, out there that would prefer um, to not have a leather product, although then shopping from a place called Galen Leather, you know, um, but that is your prerogative, of course. Um, but yes, I quite like it. Uh, putting this notebook back in the second time was definitely easier than the first time. Um, so perhaps Galen Leather, if you're watching, um, maybe just like, put in um, like one of those like faux ivory, <laughs> I think they're still called bone tools or something like that, but they're not actually made out of bones anymore, just to stretch the material a little bit uh, to make it easier to put notebooks in there. Um, but other than that, I think this is absolutely stellar. Like I said, it does come with a premium tag, but you buy it once, you'll have it for life. Uh, it's sort of like any of the superior labor stuff that I've reviewed in the past. Um, definitely has a higher price tag, but it's made to last um, and I'm, I'm very impressed with the quality of this uh, writing in it with the actual notebook uh, in itself no problem like I said this notebook specifically lays flat I just lost the, the insert this notebook specifically lays flat so that helps a ton it did take about one writing session uh, to keep this part down it does hang up a little bit um, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, and it does lay perfectly flat while you are writing um, and does not get in the way. So I like that quite, quite a bit. Yes, I do indeed. So check out the link below, uh, the description box below to have Galen Leather's uh, website linked there. You will have also my Patreon, Instagram, and Discord server. Uh, if you are part of Patreon, I do also have another Discord server just for Patreon uh, folks, um, which I'm trying to get going a little bit more, but I do have one that's open for everyone. Um, so we chat a lot over there, mostly about new pens we get and all the kind of stuff and we geek out a little bit. Um, so check that out. If the link is expired, let me know. Uh, it expires every two weeks apparently. So uh, I'll just get a fresh link for you. Um, hit the like button if you like this video, hit the subscribe if you wanna see more like it uh, every Monday and Friday and then random stuff on Tuesday will pop into your feed. And if you're still watching this far in, then you are the reason I make these videos. Bye guys. All right, my beautiful patrons, thank you all for your support. If you have recently supported me uh, as a VIP patron or above, uh, and don't see your name, don't fear. This was recorded February 26th, so it will be there as soon as I can get it updated. So we have our ultimate human is Daniel Roddy. And for my VIP fans, we've got Elizabeth, Glenn Kelly, Joan Worthman, Brian Hunter, Aaron C., Luna Wolf Games, Bobby A. Bailey, Stuart Riley, Ute Cruiser, Victor Portugal, Bass, Weili Chang, Brian La, Lucas Bell, Aubrey Madcor, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Stephen Baldwin, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Sean Sturdy, Susan Barrier, Catherine Molina, Robert Myers, Bianca Andrews, Bill Pemberton, Jennifer Galfi, Karen Epstein, Lucy Peralta, Gretchen Peters, and Digital Tech. 
Uh, for those who are not VIP tier or above, it does not matter. I still appreciate that you're here uh, and that you make all of the difference. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.